are getting a haul to the sale barn this week. And so <clears throat> we're going to get started on barn chores and then I believe we're going to feed the calves right away. Because around 2 o'clock they're going to be picked up and we still have to sort a few of the small ones off because we'll, we'll be feeding them an extra couple weeks. Um, get a little bit more pounds on them. My drinks in the cooler this morning. And we're gonna start on the west side. <clears throat> stockpiled manure that came right out of the barn there uh, too much snow in the fields to be spreading and so we have the uh, horizontal beaters off of our manure spreader and uh, we will just be piling to spread at a later date well we're gonna get the cows out get them eaten for the day and then start picking away at all this uh, manure we got here. You ready? Yep. I dug this out of the manure yesterday. No man. No newbies. This is a whole other story here too, trying to get them up by yourself. I'm so sick and tired of going around circles. Oh! <laughs> Come on guys. You gotta shut that panel there. Then you have to shut this panel here. Then when you get them up here, you gotta shut this panel because they turn around. Then you have to go over here and shut that panel. 93. Gotta shut this panel. He ain't ready for uh, 20 below shit. No. That one there is ready. These guys are all ready. This one's kind of ready for. This one's really ready for summer. See that nice short hair? That's that's like an Iowa cow. Oh, okay. Eastern Iowa. That's where he thinks he's heading. Oh, 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 oh! Got a massive fight going on there. I hope we don't wreck any panels. It's a terrible fight. Hey, hey, hey. And while they're out drinking, I will bed the barn. And Dad will be uh, grinding some straw and hay for me, I'd imagine. Actually, let me look. Straw should be good, but I'm most likely going to be needing hay. Hey. So we just got done sorting. Uh, we just sorted about 10 heifers off here. Dad always likes to keep 10 out of 100. And then we gotta steer for butcher soon here. I don't know. When's he gonna be butchered? June. June. About ten um, smaller calves. You can just see there, they're smaller frame. That one's a heifer there. And these will be heifers we're keeping for next year. So we'll put them back in, they'll be continued on feed. And hopefully we can get a little more pounds on them before we bring them to the barn. And then, and then we got the calves over here that are gonna be going to the barn for Tuesday's sale. 
Yep. 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 All the cattle hauler is gone. We will continue on the west side because we can still put the uh, red cows that haven't calved yet. The older ones. Throw them back in and the heifers are still going to have to stay out because we need room in the front of the barn to run the calves in to then load. Um, but we can get those reds in. Um, the heifers are in the alleyway out of the way so that then we can let the coloreds out and the red fall pears out. And we can do those chores while we're waiting for uh, the uh, trailer to show up again. into the barn here. I'll load them out. I can't hear. No. Oh, okay. Same spot. Okay. Have you checked the route or am I on my own? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no problem. All right. Three hay bales, or you know, whatever. And then some straw. I got straw. And then when you, I'll just keep rolling and watching. Okay. You can do a little pre trip. Looks good. Looks good. Ready to roll. Man, this stuff's stinky today. 35 degrees, so very enjoyable weather compared to the past few weeks. But uh, as Dad said while I'm gone, he's, oh yeah, looks like he needs some straw to be ground a little bit of hay to be ground to the pears that are inside things their calves stay inside all day they have to cows have to be watered and brought back in so they can get back to their calves so they can need hay when you put it back in and uh i'll be relocating uh these this manure with the turd chariot here
help me. That's the temperature. 29 degrees. But I'm pretty sure it was uh, the thermometer outside the house said it was like 34 when we went out. Oh, it's looking like spring, but next week it looks like there's quite a bit of snow in the forecast. Gonna come all the way up towards us or not? I think that's more towards the southern part of North Dakota. But we will find out. Dad and I are gonna smell just wonderful by the end of the day. Kinda lingers with ya. He's standing on this side of the spreader when he dumps a load in her. So anyway, uh, we hauled probably a good 10 loads, I'd say. And uh, this will be the last one for the day. Um, Dad got the barn chores uh, done while I was in the tractor. In between loads, he'd uh, let a pen out, bed it, and uh, wait for the Tend to quit drinking, let him back in. Looks like he's got one bale he needs to feed to the cows on that hill. And potentially put that black cow in. We'll see, maybe we might just leave her out. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll take this up to the pasture for the last load of the day. Come back and help him put the Help him probably close the barn door and put machinery away.
give the remaining calves some hay here. Uh, Dad's feeding this uh, South Hill. And then we're going to call it a day. So appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.